Brandis. Nice to meet you. I have been on YouTube since 2007 and I've never made an introductory video and I've never really gotten serious about my channel until now. So now that I'm posting more regularly and adding channels, <clears throat> adding content to my channel, <laughs> I figured it would probably be best if I went on ahead and just introduce myself to you guys. I'm a teacher and artist, and I'm also a certified life coach. Um, I received my certification two years ago. I can't believe it's been, wow, almost three years. I am originally from California, but I'm a military brat, or I was a military brat. I guess you don't ever stop being one, right? So my dad was in the Air Force, he did 20 years, so 17 years of my life were spent traveling around the United States and even Italy for some time. Both of my parents are deceased and I have a sister. Um, she lives in Pennsylvania, kind of far from here, like on the Ohio side of Pennsylvania. Um, so sadly I don't get to see her very often but um, we're pretty close uh, we have our differences but you know love that lady I still can't believe I'm a mom I still can't believe you can hear them in the background singing I just <laughs> whoo yeah so I accidentally got pregnant and um, I'm still adjusting to that I <laughs> It's been four years and you would think that I would be like, oh yeah, I'm a mom now. But every phase, there is a new reason to feel newness. And so it's still, still sinking in. <laughs> My child has a neurological disorder. So the past two years or so, we have spent a lot of time in and out of the hospital and in and out of doctor's offices trying to find answers. To what exactly is going on with her fighting with doctors about what i think the proper care is for her um and i just find that really hard to navigate not only by myself but also i'm going into this knowing that automatically because i'm a black mom that they're not gonna take what i have to say seriously they're automatically going to feel like I don't know. Every, there have been studies and proof and everyone knows that doctors don't listen to black black people, black people period. Um, so knowing that going into it means that I have to always be three steps ahead of the doctors. I have to do my own research, like extensive research. I can't just do a Google search. I have to literally read medical studies and medical journals so that when I go to them, I can tell them your colleagues at Yale University or your colleagues at Harvard, this is what they think about what you're saying to me right now. Um, which I'm grateful to have the education to be able to do that um, and to be able to comprehend what I'm reading to be able to repeat it to them. <sighs> It's gonna be a journey. Um, yeah, we're getting a new neurologist soon. So hopefully we can finally get some answers and find someone who's really serious about, <clears throat> excuse me, really serious about helping my child. So that's where I'm at with that. I have a bachelor's degree in culture and media studies from the New School University. Um, and I have a minor in film. Um, so film is, film is life. Um, I have been making little movies since I got my Fisher Price camcorder. Back when we lived in North Dakota, that was in the mid eighties. So yeah, <laughs> I still wish I had that thing. Um, but we lost it. We lost the camera, we lost the tapes. Every memory that we had, pictures, videos, 
any mementos from our life and childhood, they're all gone. Um, the thing that pisses me off the absolute most that was in there, like, okay, I can't get those videos and pictures back, but there may be people with copies or there may be people with like, who also took pictures and video at my eighth birthday party. You know, like, that. I'm less concerned about that than I am about my mother's coin collection. And I know that somebody's like getting paid off of that. She had literally collected over her lifetime. I don't want to cry. Over a lifetime, she had been collecting coins and she had every penny from the 1900s. Well, nearly every penny. And I had continued working on her collection. Um, and so I was collecting all the pennies. And every time I see a penny analysis of like how much a penny from like 1943 costs it makes me so sad because I know I had I had one of those pennies <laughs> and my penny may not have gotten that much money um you know what the value is they have to be in like pristine mint condition but like the 1943 silver wheat back penny is worth ten thousand dollars and I know I could have got at least at least eight thousand for the one that was in there <sighs> okay one day i'm gonna let it go the only thing that gets me through being really devastated about losing all of that stuff is that i just strongly believe that the universe is going to one i think i'm gonna get some of those things back um hopefully whoever bought our storage unit didn't throw the pictures and videos away maybe they stuck it somewhere and forgot about it <laughs> like that is my hope and prayer but like I said if they didn't there's copies of pictures there's other videos like it's not the end of the world I just think that anything that we lost in there that was of monetary value the universe will replace you know because energy can be neither created nor destroyed and so if money is energy I'm gonna get it all back. I just, I strongly, firmly believe that. <laughs> and you know what? I think I do. Like, I receive blessings all of the time. The universe is paying me back, but like, I'm waiting for like my $100,000 check. Like, any day now, universe, when you wanna go ahead and let me cash that, that would be awesome. Like, at once, $100,000 at one time. <laughs> Let's see, what else about me? So I decided to become a life coach after I had a couple friends of mine call me within a short time frame um, with suicidal thoughts. And I just felt so unequipped to be able to help them. And I was wondering, you know, where do you get this kind of education? Where do you how do you help someone, you know, while respecting their privacy, what are the right things to say to someone? Um, and so that is how I became a life coach. I didn't want anyone else to call me and I didn't know exactly what to do or say. And it actually turns out that I pretty much was following the protocol um, just from being naturally who I am. Um, and for anyone who wants to know the answer to that, the main thing you can do is just listen, listen. Um, and you should definitely let someone in their family know, for sure, um, just in case. If you can't get there yourself, you should definitely tell somebody. I'm pretty psychic. I am psychic, let's just, I am psychic. I read tarot cards. Um, I am also a medium. I've taken a break though um, from doing readings for myself and for other people. I just feel like I have to feel, and it could just be me, I could be totally wrong about this, but when I'm not in a right place, like physically, mentally, and emotionally, I don't feel like I have any business um, like giving readings to anybody. Um, so 
yeah you have to to me you have to have like your mind and your spirit right personally um and I just had a few things that I had to sort through I went through a terrible breakup in February um <laughs> he is a total narcissist um and so just like recovering from that and figuring out what it is about myself that I was accepting certain things in that relationship um and not just that but like taking time since February it's October now um well no it's November it's November <laughs> so taking time from February through November um just trying to get my mind in order and figure out like what patterns I need to break in order to be successful in life period but especially regarding love um because I do truly believe that there is someone out there for me who I'm not gonna have to change anything about myself I'm not gonna have to prove myself and it's just gonna work and I know that that is possible because I've had relationships like that, um, which is why I'm generally friendly with most of my exes. Um, I think that some people that we dated, we just weren't good at dating at that time. I think some people just had personal issues that they had to work through or sometimes I had personal issues um yeah I think and some people the timing was just off like we just couldn't get it together at the same time so you know but I do believe that there's someone out there because I've experienced that I know what that feels like um and now I am 100% clear on what I do want, what doesn't work for me, and why I had gotten into certain habits and patterns in my life. Those are the main things about me. I love to laugh. <laughs> I'm really talented at a lot of things. Um, and so my channel is just going to be really whatever I am artistically creating at the moment obviously somehow it'll be video based um because this is youtube yeah i feel like that's a lot about my life in a short little bit of time um obviously as i go along i'll be telling you guys more stories about myself sharing and more information with you sharing different projects with you that i'm working on um so yeah thank you so much for subscribing to my channel um please feel free to leave me any feedback um or just say hi see you guys later see you around youtube <laughs>